Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum. We just woke up about an hour or so ago, and I just feel like shit. You know when you wake up and you just like, you have this kind of thing around to you, and you're just like, ah, oh, fuck everything. You know, you just like, you wake up, you feel like shit, you bored out of your mind, and you're just like, oh, fuck it. So this, hopefully, recording will get me back in the game here. Literally. Somewhat. I don't know. I haven't done any recording for Pokemon Coliseum in a while, but I do remember we were after a crocodile, weren't we? The question is, though, where the hell did we go? I wonder what trainers would actually be here, like, if there's any... Fuck of the Machado Pokemon that we haven't got yet. Anything over this way? Hi. Back for more mischief. Mischievous little imps. So, uh, I didn't freaking heal my Pokemon or what? That's my number and on at full health. Hey, Granbull, Suiko, and Mantina knocked the fuck out. I didn't freaking heal at all. Huh. Hmm. Now, oh, fuck it, let's just go forward anyway. Uh, which elevator do we take? I don't think this was the right one. Ah well. Let's go back down there to the elevator in the deal. Too bad the only freaking way of healing in this place is to use the computer and that's like in the olive building, crying out loud. It's not cool. Why couldn't they put a healing thing here? This is where that guy like would flip the switch for the alarm, isn't it? And there should be a trainer right around here, yes. Hi there, there's no alarm blaring, but here I am anyways. You really just were waiting there this whole time. Even though... You, like, organization should have technically been taken down or something. I have no idea, well, whatever. Of screening you because, of course, you don't have any shadow Pokemon.
level up this. Yeah, actually, I'm quite impressed by your Pokemon, lady. They're actually quite high level. Still won't be able to defeat me, but... Gotta give you that much. Pretty decent level you got going on there. Ah, oh, you almost got that level up. Little boy, you're a tuppy. Uh-huh. Well, I'm looking for a... Uh, what was it again? A croconaw. Do you know where I can find a croconaw? You know, we should... Have we got any revives? Because if so, we might as well revive the other ones. Yeah, we got plenty. Yeah, that's great. Let's do that. Super potions! Why do they have to go back to the menu after using one of them? It's stupid. Why couldn't we just continuously use them? That's not here either. Ah, uh, are we supposed to make more shadow Pokemon with it? We took it, dude. Well, how did you sneak up on me like that? Oh, uh, did that guy destroy it? I can't remember. I think we took it. Ha, huh? don't I know you from somewhere? Like at the mayor's home in Phoenix. You've been spoiling Cypher's plans all over, haven't you? You're not going to mess my plan up. Well, you, you plan on going solo here, Mr. Peon? Well, he's not a peon, is he? Well, he is a peon, but he's like a special type of peon. Because he has a freaking crocodile. A grumpig. Holy shit, level 62? That's even higher than Espion. Holy shit. Fair play, man, fair play. You've got some decent levels going. Oh, there's a shadow Pokemon, and he's also the last of the shadow Pokemon of the, like, uh, uh, ones we met in Phoenix City that are left, basically, in the starter Pokemon type one. You shadow rush on me when you shadow rush on me. Well, it's actually a she? Oh! Randall went down in one shot. Ow. Uh, man, I'm not sure though. Will Umbreon at this point one shot Croconaw? Because Croconaw is like freaking level 30 for crying out loud. Shadow Rush! That's weak as shit. Uh, here he goes. Ow. Uh, I'm not sure about this one, man. Our Pokemon are quite high leveled at this point. I remember, like, what if we end up kicking his ass by accident? Because that's happened many times. Not confused, Ray. You asshole. Shadow Rush. Don't knock him out. Okay, good. Yay! Yeah, uh, you just keep doing that like the idiot you are. I would have used secret power on you, but I was worried it might one-shot you somehow. Because Umbra and I have gotten a bit tougher, you know. My door! Nom. Oh, come on! What the hell? Oh, shit. Oh! You, you still standing? Oh, not after this, most likely. Okay, wait, it's gonna hit. It's going for it! Grumpy Girls, dead! Yay! Level up, booty soon! It 
get some muck. Ow. You know, when I help people with my emerald, I'd say muck is actually a potential on my main Pokemon, because when I looked at, up its stats, it was like, you know, that's pretty good. It's just like, it'd be different, but I don't know. Oh, we start off with Pokeballs. Brand you can use a voice of him until Suicune inevitably gets knocked out. Now I'm going to send out Aspen to take care of the bug. Well, of course, it wouldn't work on the first try. It rarely does. When it's a Pokeball, anyway. Man, that's weak as shit. Uh oh. And of course, we can get knocked the hell out. It was inevitable. Sending out as beyond. Yeah, you just keep doing that. Thank you. Care. Because you will be mine. Once I use... Wait, what was the one for the weaker ones? Wait, did that say? It works on water Pokemon as well. He's a water Pokemon. It's tried. You will be mine! Go, Netball! Go! One, two, three! Holy shit, that worked well. Gotcha, Crocodile was caught. Oh, it's a camera. Camera, camera, probably, no, I don't know. Like, whenever it comes to pronouncing a Pokemon's name, I usually get it wrong, and people are always like, You pronouncing it wrong, you fucking idiot. But it's not my fault, man. I don't exactly freaking know how they're pronounced. Oh, you cheap ass. So I kick. Ah, oh, shit, missed. No, I bet this asshole knows earthquake. He always does. What? Oh shit, I didn't realize it was so long on the stuff. Holy shit. Ah oh, yeah, because I didn't freaking fully yield them, technically, so of course their freaking points wouldn't be full and maxed out. See how tough Muck is, though? Even with Espion and Espion's awesome attack power, still not able to one-shot Muck. Only knock it into the yellow. With a super effective attack, nonetheless. Muck's defense must be really great stuff, man. It's a shame that the camera is raising its stats, but it's gonna do him no good as we're going to knock him out right now. So I missed. But this won't. Come. Um. It even sounds like he's saying his name. Are you saying camera? Or something? Oh, not sludge. Ow. Holy shit! You, you tell me he's got freaking good attack power as well? Holy shit. I mean, he may just be a blub of gooey shit and stuff like that, but... Gotta hand it to him, he's quite tough. The free peons of Phoenix City are being defeated! Ah, there goes my hope of becoming an admin. He just freaking goes away, man. He's like all the other peons here. He's just like, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just leave without saying anything else. That's it. 
not just gonna be like, this isn't over. It's like, ah, screw it, I'm going home. The question now is, what now? We defeated Mr. Peon Guy, we've got the Croconaw, we got the Bayleaf a while back as well. What is there to do now? Could wait for another message thing. That will inevitably be like, hey, I found another area where there's no trainer with a shadow Pokemon. But of course, when he even. Well, it's right there, actually. So, what is it now? We get more freaking mails, like, after the freaking email, like, after the freaking main story. That's just ridiculous. He's even got a picture attached. Michael, did you know your P.DA can receive not only email, it can also accept uh, digital photos. I'll send one as a test. I hope it reaches you. You took a picture of Meg and Shroomish. Fair enough. It'd be funny if he sent a picture of a toilet to just like, why did you choose a toilet as the test picture to show that you can send pictures? Wait. I've got a flashback to one part in this LP where it's, in, it's like when we got, um, uh, shit, I forget his name, Egaf or whatever, where he, like, registered our uh, P.DA and just, like, I was just randomly like, be sure to send naughty pictures. It's like, holy shit, you totally can. Why did I randomly click to go to Pirate Town? We got another email so soon! I wonder if it has a picture attached. No, it doesn't actually. Big snag machine. Oh, it's Bit, the guy that always stands outside the uh, uh, building thing. Hi, this is Bit in the under. There's this freaky rumor going around that Snagum holdouts fixed a big snag machine. Do you think it's true? Can you look into it too, Michael? How am I supposed to look into this? So you tell me to go to the Snagum hideouts? Well, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what you're telling me to do. Because the Snagum hideout isn't like completely done with yet now, is it? I mean, all we did was go there, get a bay leaf, and that was it. There were a few other trainers there, and I think we might have had another Shadow Pokemon there, but I don't think there was. I can't remember. I wonder when we'll get a chance to get that damn Remoraid, though. Seriously, man, I'm gonna use the ball for the weak type of Pokemon. I'm gonna, like, maybe have Plusle on my team at a time, so he doesn't freaking one-shot him. But seriously, if that were to one-shot him, that'd be ridiculous. Can you imagine how weak you'd have to be to be one-shotted by a Plusle? Like, if I just used Quick Attack and he one-shotted him, it'd be ridiculous. Seriously, man, Remraid sucks ass. Let's save the game here. Another one to the list. And I shall see you next time, viewers. Because next time we'll actually be going back to Mount Battle. Because I want to, like, have, like, a kind of, like, in-between, like, post-story stuff. You know, advance a bit further with Mount Battle. You know, so, like... It doesn't end up like we complete the rest of Mount Battle all in one go and then go into Mount Battle again to get Ho Ho at the end of it all. Which would be just completely tedious if it was all at the same time. So, see you next time, viewers. See you next time.